Tag mga kaigsoonan. Happy Lord's Day, brothers and sisters in the Lord. So malipayon ba ang atong mga kabuntagon, mga kaigsoonan? So we have a lot of things to be grateful for no, sa atong mga kinabuhi. But before we go to our worship, let allow me to uh, encourage you to open your Bibles to the book of Psalm 103, verses 10 to 12. Let us open our Bibles to the book of Psalms, chapter 103, verses 10 to 12. Kung nanamo mga kaigsuunan, whatever version ng inyong gigamit, uh, let's read verse 10 to 12. Ningon Shadri. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our guilty deeds. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is the, His mercy towards those who fear Him. As far as the east is from the west, so far as He removed our wrong doings from us. So, panalanginan ang pulong sa ginuot, mga igsoon. So, this is a psalm of David, mga kaigsoonan. And according to C.H. Spurgeon, mga igsoon, ang iyang giingon about aning psalm, niingon siya, we should attribute it to, his, to David's later years when he had a higher sense of preciousness of pardon because a keener sense of sin than his younger days. His clear sense of frailty of life indicates his weaker years as also thus the very fullness of his praiseful gratitude, mga igsoon. So sa atong gibasa, mga igsoon, sa verse 10, ngayon siya, he has not dealt with us according to our sins nor rewarded us according to our guilty deeds. So God is slow to anger, abounding in mercy. And David knew that our sins deserve much greater judgment or discipline than we receive the mercy of God. So why is it that God, ningon siya nga, God has not dealt with us after our sins? Nga man mga kaigsuunan, ningon sa Isaiah 53, but he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our wrongdoings. The punishment for our well-being was laid upon Him, and by His wounds, we are healed. Jesus took our sins, and He bore our sins, and the punishment was upon Him. That's why nakaingon si David nga, He has not dealt with us according to our sins. Kay kung gidealt pa dito sa ginoo may egsoon, Hagbay ratang na nga, hanaw nining kalibutan na, waat nining kalibutan na, walay udit, may tabo, walay COVID, may tabo. And even there is a verse 11, my exon, for as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is His mercy toward those who fear Him. So this is how David described the mercy of God. The distance from earth to heaven, the heavens measure the greatness of His mercy toward those who fear Him. So if naka-remember mo mga eksoon, si pastor na kahisgot na siya diri og katong kuan, kanal three, ka, kan concepts of heaven, no, in ancient biblical world. First, on man, blue sky, the atmosphere with its sun. Second is the night sky, the stars and the constellations. Third, the place where God dwells and He is enthroned. So, niingon si David, as high as the heavens are above the earth. So, kinsa may makamajor? May exoon. From earth to the heavens, kinsa may makamajor? So, that's how David described the mercy of God. And thir in third, my exoon, so verse 12, niingon siya, as far as the east is from the west, so far as he removed our wrongdoings from us. So, this is much greater, my exoon, than saying, so far as the north is from the south. Nanong dili north is from the south. As he removed our transgressions for us. So if you travel, may so on, may agim to tag science, no? So if you travel north on globe, as soon as you go over the North Pole, you will, you will, be, uh, you will begin to travel south. But if you travel east, you will continue east forever. The rotation of the earth, mga kaigsoon. And that's why ningon si David, I don't know if si David kibaw na ani ato nga time, but I believe the Holy Spirit give this wisdom to him, no? Na as far as the east is from the west, he removes our transgression. That means 
His mercy is from everlasting to everlasting. It's forever. And this is how far God has removed our sins from us. His mercy is from everlasting to everlasting. So we are all recipient of God's mercy. And don't think for a minute that when we repented and accept the Lord Jesus Christ is when mercy began to operate. So when did God's grace and mercy operate? No, it's sa una pa na mga egzoon. Dili na na sa katong namatay si Jesus Christ or natawo siya sa pasungan. Ever since mga egzoon, nga wala pag sa ginoo ang kalibutan. God's mercy and grace it's always been operating my own sa atong mga kinabuhi. Amen? It is His attributes. So our God deserves our worship this morning. So I encourage everyone to just please stand and let's worship our God. Father, we praise you, O Lord, O God. We thank you, Lord, indeed, for your grace and your mercy. As far as the east is from the west, Lord. As high as the heavens, O God. And you do not dealt with us, O God, according to our sins. That's how great your mercy is, Lord, sa mga kinabuhi in all Diyos. Your grace, O oh God, did not come when Christ was born in a manger. Your grace and mercy, Lord, did not come when He died on the cross or when He rose from the dead or went to the Father's right hand. Your grace and mercy came from the ancient beginning, O oh God, through your Son, Jesus Christ, Lord. And it came according to God's ancient plan in Jesus Christ. Lord, kung among tanawon, O oh God, Lord, ang among status, among kinabuhi, ginoo. Apart from the finished work of Jesus Christ, Lord, who could stand before you, our holy God? But Lord, we thank you, O oh God, because, Lord, we can approach the throne of grace, O oh God, with confidence, with boldness, because of the finished work of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for sending your only Son, O oh God. The punishment was upon him, O oh Lord, O oh God. He bore our transgressions, O oh God, Lord. And Lord, you have reconciled us to you, O oh Lord. Pinaagi, Lord, sa mabuktong anak din o ang Diyos, O Lord, O God, that you did not withhold, O Father, God, Lord. How vast, O God, how wide is your love, O God. And Lord, we do not deserve, O oh Father, O oh God, Lord. Tanan ngay mong gibuhat sa mga kinabuhi, Lord. And just like David, O oh God, Lord, in all, O oh God, yung na-experience ni mo ginoong Diyos, He can only praise Your holy name. He can only bless Your holy name with all of our soul, our mind, and our strength, O oh God. This is our response, O oh God, Lord, to You, O oh God, that we will bless You, O oh Father, God, Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. For your name is worthy to be praised, O oh Lord. While we have our being, O oh God, Lord, as our master and our creator, Lord, you deserve, O oh Father God, Lord, our worship. You deserve, O oh Father God, Lord, our praises, O oh God. For there is no other God, Lord, who is worthy, O oh God, Lord. There is no other God who is worthy. You are above all, O oh Father. How great you are, O oh God. You are the reason we sing. You are the reason, O God, Lord, nga naami din ni O God. We thank you, O oh Lord. Praise the Lord. 
God, Lord. How awesome is your name, O Lord, O God. What a joy, O Lord, O God. Lord, nga mo simba ang mudayag sa imong buhi nga ngalan ginoong Diyos, O Lord. Tinood, amahan, O God, Lord. This is all by your grace, O Father God. We thank you, Lord, that we have a high priest, O God, who is pleading, O God, Lord, who is interceding, O God, Lord, for us. And it's your Son, Jesus Christ, Lord, ang imong makita, inoong Diyos. Taliwala na mo, inoong God. How gracious you are, Lord. How merciful you are, O God. Thank you, Lord, O God. Imo mong giluwas, ginoong Diyos, nga mahimo mi Lord, nga magsisimba ka ni mo, ginoong. Mahimo mi Lord, nga imong mga anak, ginoong Diyos, O God. And we have that access, O Father God, Lord, to call you our Abba, Father. Lord, sa imong dakong kaluoy, sa matuusa ka na mo, gino. Sa imong grasya o imong gugma, gino, Diyos. And yes, Lord God, if you marked our transgression, oh God, who could stand before you? No one. For you are a perfect God, a holy God, a just God, But we thank you, Lord, for this privilege. Today, O oh God, Lord, in this place, O oh God, in this moment, Father, that we can truly worship you, Father God, in spirit and in truth, Lord. What a great joy. Imugihatag sa matagusan ng Lord. Blessed be your name.
Lord, you are our life, oh God. And Lord, as David says, oh God, Lord, bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me, oh God. We can only sing of your mercy. We can sing of your grace, oh Lord, oh God. We can sing of your greatness, oh God, in our lives. Jesus, your mercy is all our boast, our plea, and our joy, oh God. And we will sing of your mercy. 
say, oh God, we bless your holy name, oh Lord. Let's sing this beautiful song, this our last song, Jesus, your mercy, oh God. Hallelujah, Lord. We bless you, Father. We bless you, oh Lord. Jesus, your mercy is all my plea. I have no defense. My guilt runs too deep. The past of my work spears your hands and your feet. Jesus, your mercy is all my plea. Jesus, your mercy is all my books. The good is all.
on. Amen. Uh, ingnan ang imong katapad na lipay ko nga ani ang kakaron. Praise God, no? Nya is mainly po siya. Praise the Lord. Okay, uh, we have a couple of announcements this morning. Uh, once again, everybody's invited for our IPM, no? Ang Intercessory Prayer Meeting. Uh, being held every Friday. As of the moment, ang atong IPM, 4 o'clock. The reason is that ang uban wa pa yung mga suga. And then, we also have online uh, I, IPM nga muatin. And it also happened nga wala pa tay net. So, what we did, atong gihimo every 4 o'clock in the afternoon, every Friday. And indeed, our God is our prayer answering God. Amen? O ginyong lantaw ng atong TV monitor nga 55 inches, giguba ni Odette. Gipulihan sa ginoo 70 inches. Praise God. Palakpakan na itong ginoo. No? Ang 55 giguba ni Odette and gipulihan sa ginoo o 70 inches. And Diinstall ni Gahapon lang. Praise God. Palakpakan na itong sa provision. And another thing, we praying uh, ang ginoo mo provide sa atong ipaayo ining glass nga giguba po ni Odet. O ginyong lantaon sa inyong right side, which is on my left side, of course. And indeed, God answered the prayer of His people. Miraculously. Doon ang message na ko gabi eh, kining tawana gigamit po sa ginoo during the lockdown. During the lockdown since nine, uh, 2019, gigamit ni siya sa ginoo in a God's miraculous way. Karoon ang message siya gabi eh, nga ang guba ko no sa church, iyang siya ining koan, siya ining sponsor, Og magpadasya og five thousand dollars. Hallelujah. Praise God. Nara sa Pilipinas may ikson, wasas gawas. Pero niya ang yung ipada cost of five thousand dollars nga ipaayo sa naguba diri sa atong building. Indeed, our God is a prayer answering God. Amen. And that is your God and my God. So maayig yung kaya ginoo. It happened last time nga ning buto ang Taal Bulkino. If you still remember, I think two years ago. Doon ay charge nga itong gitabangan. We send our help. And the principle of life is the same. What you sow is what you reap. No? Sowing and reaping. Ning help out nila during the time. And yesterday, nagpadala po sila og help para sa mga kagisunan ni Risa Sibo. Palakpakan na po natong gino. No? Pagkadaghang kayuhan nga gihimo ang ginoo sa iglesia dari sa Talisay. Miracles upon miracles. And that's the reason why every now and then, gi-invite mo to attend the prayer meeting every Friday. And you will find out that all those requests to bagon yun sa ginoo. Amen? And then, here's another thing. Karong pagkahuman sa service, doon ay meeting men's and women's and ministry heads, all the leaders. We have to talk something about evangelism nga atong pagkahimoon. Uh, so, all the leaders are requested. And praise the Lord Huwag mauna ang atong mga announcement. For the Bible studies, all of you who are interested to attend our Bible studies, do lang mo pagkahuman sa service. Kay og asa mo da pita din ni Stalisay, do na tayo Bible studies. In fact, if you're interested, diri mismo every Tuesday, Tuesday, do na tayo Bible study diri, Tuesday, alas 5 sa hapon. 
Saturday, alas 5 sa hapon na apodre. And the rest of the area sa Talisay, dool mo, gasa mo na pita, willing mo mo atin ng Bible studies, then you can attend our Bible studies na tayong mga area. Praise God! So, mo ito mga announcement na to as of today. And praise the Lord, we are finished with the book of Romans today. Salamat sa ginoo sa iyang pag-sustain nga karong adlawa, karong dumingguha, mahuman na sa book of Romans. We will be talking about book of Romans chapter 16 from verse 17 to verse 27. Now, book of Romans is about the doctrine of Christianity. The first part of the book of Romans is the doctrine of Christianity and the second part is the application of what Christianity is all about. Because Christianity is not just about knowing about doctrines, but it's all about application. Monang Igoni James, be a doers of the word and not just a hearers only. Kaya igor ako na ito pagpaminaw, giilad na to ang atong kaugalingon. Kaya dili mo makailad sa ginoo. Amen? So as we continue for the last part of the book of Romans, I want you to open your Bible in book of Romans chapter 16. And we will be reading from verse 17 to verse 27. And may I request everybody to stand up as we read this passage of scriptures. And I will be reading in the NIV version. I urge you, brothers and sisters, to watch out for those who cause divisions and put obstacles in your way that are contrary to the teaching you have learned. Keep away from them. For such people are not serving the Lord, but their own appetite, by smooth thook and plattery. They deceive the minds of the naive people. Everyone has heard about your obedience, so I rejoice because of you. But I want you to be wise about what is good and innocent about what is evil. The God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. The grace of our Lord Jesus be with you. Verse 21. Timothy, my co-workers, sends his greeting to you, as do Lucius and Jason, Susipater, my fellow Jews, I, Tertius, who wrote down this letter, greet you in the Lord. And verse 23. Gaius, whose hospitality, and I, the whole church here in joy, sends you his greeting. Erastus, who is the city's director of public works, and our brother Quartus send you their greetings. Now to him who is able to establish you in accordance with my gospel, the message I proclaim about Jesus Christ in keeping with the revelation of the mystery hidden for long age past, but now revealed and made known through the prophetic writings by the command of eternal God so that all the Gentiles might come to the obedience that come from faith. To the only wise God be the glory forever through Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we thank you, Lord, for another Sunday. Lord, we thank you for sustaining us that we were able to finish the book of Romans even for today. Salamat po sa gino sa mga kaigsunan nga dunay mga gipang bati sa ilang panglawas and Lord, we thank you for restoring them, O God. Imong giayo, imong gitaganog kapiskay 
And we are here this morning for one accord to exalt your name and to glorify your name. Thank you, Lord. And as we continue to ponder your word, help us not just to understand, but to walk according to the counsel of your word. In the name of Jesus, we give you praise and glory. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Lingkot ang mga egson. Praise God. This verse of scriptures will help us understand the importance of right belief and to learn where right belief began. Og asa gyud magsugod ning insakto nga pagtulunan. I suppose everybody knows about the statement that says it doesn't matter what you believe as long as you're sincere. Bisa pag unsay imong gituhan, tuuhi lang na o pagpatinudanon, okay na siya. And sad to say, many people in the world stand firm on that belief. They're convinced that all roads leads to heaven. Na ang tanang pagtulunan, paingun ra na sa langit. No matter what you believe, just be sincere what you believe. What you believe. It doesn't really matter. Kay ang tanan, pariharatag maabdan. And a lot of people is embracing that certain teaching. But if you read the book of Proverbs chapter 12, chapter 14, verse 12, the Bible declares, Doon ay dalan ng agtuo ka nga insakto apan naghatod ka nimo sa kamatayon. We need to be very careful in which road we are walking. Because it's just like driving a car and then pag-ubot ni mo sa bukid, doon ay ningingon dito, gibutang ang nag-sign na nagingon, dangerous curb ahead. And then what you did, wa mang kamutuo, just keep on driving with a high speed, not believing sa sign, so what do you think will happen? you will end up dead. Why? Kay wa ka mutuo sa gibutang dito nga sign, dangerous curve ahead. However, ugning tuo ka, and what you did also is that you slow down, and when you arrive dito sa curve, ning slow down ka, ning abot ka, safety. You're alive. Mga egsoon, ang Biblia is God's warning. And we need to be very careful. Ang Biblia, warning ni Sigino, nga tinood ni maong warning. Nga bisa pag unsaon ni mo, ang maong warning, dili mausab ang kamatuuran why? Because this is God's word. It's just the same with the warning sign. Now, kung sa imong gituhan, it will never change the truth that ahead there's a dangerous curve. Now, ug magpadayon ka, if you're crazy enough, you will end up dead. The same thing with the Bible. Mona, do not to look about tanga tong is guta ning kabuntagon that we will tackle in this passage three things. To look about tang in verse 17 to verse 20, ing only Pablo, what's out for the false teacher? Warning against false teachers. And in verse 21 to verse 24, the Bible is talking about 
revealing of God's eternal plan of salvation. Ngayon og mystery. It's Paul's co-workers' greetings. Uh, sorry, 21 to 24, greeting from Paul's co-workers, and 25 to 27, morning revealing of God's eternal plan of salvation. It's a guidance about whom we should believe. Now, at to the first part, ako ng tulan, what you believe matters. O unsay imong gituhan, do nagyoy mahitabo diyang dapita. O sayop ang imong panlantaw sa usa kabutang, it will end up sayop. Mura nag nagpahimo ka o door jam, gisugda ni mong hiwi, magpadayo na siyang hiwi. Mauna, kinigitagaan tag warning ni Pablo regarding sa spiritual aspect about the application which is the last part of the book of Romans chapter 16. Now, what you believe matters. Let's go to the first part sa atong tunan. What's against, watching against false teacher. Pagbantay ka mo sa gitawag na mga mini nga magtutudlo. Let's begin in verse 16, or verse 17. It says, Now I urge you, brethren, Note those who cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which you heard. Listen to this phrase, avoid them. Now we need to understand that those false teachers are what we call professing believers. They are within the church. Na asa sulud sila sa iglesia. But what they did, they infiltrate the church with the wrong teaching. Ug may ngog og wrong teaching mga igsoon, dili na nga dako kay nga imong makita anda nya sayo. Dili ginagmay. Nay duha ka butang nga ilang i-inject inside the church. Which you and I needs to be very careful. Nga bantayani na itong mga butanga. First, they are, ingon ni Pablo, they are causing division and sowing a wrong teaching. Kini mga pagtulunan ni Pablo, pagbantay kay mubungkag ni Iglesia. Mubahi ni Iglesia. And then the second thing is that they are putting difficulties for people in coming to Christ. What does it mean? In coming to Christ, Paranilla, do this and plus, while the Bible declares, come to me all of you who are tired and heavily laden and I will give you rest. Book of Matthew chapter 10 verse 28. Do all kamu kanako. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Sorry. Duol kamu kanako, kamong gikapuyan kay tagaan takamo o kapahulayan. But this false teacher, what he have to do is that himuan ni diha kang Kristo, pero pun ini mo, himu pa kayong ane, kanipun ipod, pun ipod ana. It happened even during the time of Apostle Paul. During the conversion of Paul in the book of Acts chapter 9. Now, if you keep on re reading the book of Acts, you will find out that in the book of Acts chapter 13, Paul started sharing. And then, pag abot sa book of Acts chapter 15, gilibog ang mga pagtulunan sa mga apostoles. Kay nga naman, pag abot sa book of Acts chapter 15 verse 1, dunay nagtudlo dito nga ikaw mo to sa kang Kristo pero sunda pud ang mga pagtulunan ni Moses so gikutaw ang pagtulunan diha kang Kristo so not only during our time but even before the time of apostle Paul mao na nahimo ang gitawag nato the council of Jerusalem Nanuman, giklaro ni Paul, giklaro ni Peter, ni James, 
nga ang pagtulunan nga ang kaluwasan diha lamang kang Kristo. Amen. Mo na diring dapita magbantay ta about this wrong teaching. Why? Because they are na asila sa sulod sa iglesia. Even myself, magtudlo na gani ko di mao ing nako point blank dili mao mo na pastor wa nas Biblia. Ayaw mo ka uwaw nga ibutang ko nakabantay na mo nga dili naman ni maong kang pastor. Inignaog na ko, sugat ako. Pwede gani paundang ako, pastor dili na na mao. We need to be very careful about this false teaching. Nga naman, kitawag ni false doctrine kay mubungkag ni og iglesia. Muhisgot ganit ang false doctrine, ayaw mo kag-confuse anang word doctrine. Doctrine means teaching. Hmm. Mga sim- simple na word anang doctrine. It means teaching. Kanya, doon ay teaching nga insakto, doon ay po ay teaching nga sayo. So, ang saan na ito pagkahibaw nga ang pagtudlo di na mao, it will divide the church. And that is very serious business. Amen? Doon ay usak a Sunday school teacher, ay mga gagmay si Jante niya, nangota na siya. Ay ngunit niya, is somebody here can explain what false doctrine is all about. Ning anang usa ka gamayng bata. Teacher, teacher, I can explain. Ingon sa in Sunday school teacher. Okay, stand up and explain. Ingon niya. False doctrine is that when the doctor gives the wrong medicine to the people who are sick. Bungang ko anong ang, ang Sunday school teacher. Layo umang kayo yung context. When a doctor will give a wrong medicine to people who are sick. Ang pagpaminaw des bata, false doctoring. No? Daily false doctrine. Ang pagpaminaw niya, false doctoring nga sa ato pa og sayop ang paghatag pag pagtanaw sa doktor dili mao nga tambal false doctoring but there's one thing ang iyang tubag dunay point nga naman kay og sayop ang doctoring sayop pod ang tambal nga mahatag the same thing if we have to bring it in the spiritual aspect og sayop ang atong gitudlo sa yukpod ang may tabo sa ilang kinabuhi. Amen? And that is very serious business. Muna, ingonip, ingonip Pablo, pagbantay mo because it will cause the vision of the church. After the word of warning, nagpasidaan si Pablo the motive and the method of operation of false teaching. Verse 18. Ah, Mauni ang motive nila o ang method. Here's the method. Verse 18. For those who are such do not serve our Lord Jesus Christ but their own belly. And by smooth words and flattering speech deceive the heart of the simple. Now what does it mean? Nga ugimong tanaw ng mga tawhana sa sud sa church as if they are real mura silang tinuod no murang tinuod kay gano man naaman sa church now if we recall in the gospel in book of Matthew chapter 7 si Ginoong Hesus nag warning ingon ni Ginoong Hesus remember this that not all who call to me lord lord can enter the kingdom of God, but only he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Dili ang tanan niya ng tawag ka na ko, gino gino makasulod sa gingharian sa langit, apan kento lamang nagsunod sa kabubuton sa akong amahan na tuas langit. Maunang ingon ni Pablo, we need to be what? We need to be very careful. 
Kaya ang ilang gitanaw yung ni Pablo, ang ilang raong kaugalingon. Their own bili. They're trying to make themselves rich using the church. To make themselves comfortable using the church. In fact, mga egson, huwag mo tandaan mo karon sa sa television, mega church. Most of them are what we call prosperity preaching. Ang ilang iwali is that you keep on putting your money for God, planting seed for God, and you will be blessed by God. It's more about money. Nga og mo hatag kas bulaton sa Ginoo, panalanginan kas Ginoo. And of course, ang gusto po sa tao nga panalanginan sa Ginoo nga magdato. Hallelujah. But if we talk about blessings mga igsoon, it is more about spiritual blessings. That you and I need to grow more deeper in the saving knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Maybe some of you nakabasa sa news gahapon. One of the richest man on earth, Warren Buffett, with 111 billion dollars on the bank. But at the end of the day, namatay siya, nothing. Why not? Ang only hope, ipakatao kang hubo, mo balik kang hubo. Simple as that. Now, false teacher sounds credible. Okay, mo silang paminawan, murag korek. Murag korek. Even myself, nakaatin ko ka ng ginoo sa Dabao, nga si Kibuloy. Naamis at tubangan. During the time, birthday ni Kibuloy, gihild sa Baseline Hotel. Naamis sa tubangan. Og mawali si Kibuloy, mga igsoon, if you are not reading the Bible, you will be easily deceived. Why? Because he's dynamic preacher. Mubilib ka. Mubilib ka. Pagabot sa tunga-tunga, ning kaput si Kibuloy, yung gamay nga kitawang uh, holy cloth or blessed cloth, green ang color, ring anak ka gamay. Ingin niya, itong maliit na bagay ilagay ninyo sa inyong Biblia o kaya sa inyong wallet kayo'y pagpapalain ng Diyos. Can you imagine that? Katong gamay nga cloth tungod na ato niya i-bless ka sa ginoo. But since people ang gusto sa tao nga padalanginan siya muingong po tala Hallelujah! Amen! Lingi ko sa likod na mo, puro yun ding amin. Why? Everybody wants to be blessed by God. But slowly and surely, they are being deceived by Kibuloy. And now what happened, siya ang ginoo karon nga naas dabaw. The appointed son of the living God. And millions, it is not thousand ang naila ni Kibuloy, millions why? Because friends, they are not reading the Word of God. Magsigilag paminaw, magsabat-sabat, nga why sabot-sabot. And that's the problem. And that's the reason why, diri sa atong congregation, ang atong gi pangandoy nga matag-usa ninyo na amoy gikuptan na Biblia. Amen? Now, how to identify called teaching? Wanna give pakita sa Biblia. Now, cold teaching deny first and foremost that Jesus is God in human flesh. They cannot accept that doctrine that Jesus is God in human flesh. Why? Because what they believe, ang ilang it, ang ilang ituhan, if Jesus is a Son of God, He is just a Son. He is not a God. But we have what we call hypostatic union or the doctrine nga na ay duha ka personalidad si Ginoong Isos. 
that Jesus Christ is 100% human and He is 100% God. That is what we call the hypostatic union of Jesus Christ. He is 100% God and 100% human. But the cold teaching cannot accept that doctrine. And the second one is that cold teaching denied the doctrine of salvation by grace through faith alone. Dili nila madawat nga ang kaluwasan by faith alone. They cannot grasp, they cannot embrace that doctrine. Why? Kay punan yun na nila, kinanglan mo himo ka, doon nag yukay himoon sa imong kaluwasan. Aron maluwas ka. Well, doon ay duha ka konsepto ng atong tanahon. It talks about the teaching of Paul and the teaching of James. In teaching of Paul, ingo ni Pablo, ang kaluwasan pinagi lamang sa pagtuo. It talks about faith. In book of Romans chapter 4 verse 3. However, in the other side of the coin, si James nagtudlupod in book of James chapter 2 verse 23, nga ang pagtulunan, ang pagtuo sa tao, mahimo lamang kining mahingpit sa dihang makita nga to sa iyang buhat. So does it mean nga si Pablo ug sa James nagkasumpaki? No. Why? Because the teaching of Paul, the requirements of salvation is faith. However, nga to sa tubangan sa tao, Ning suwat si James sa mga believers ng mga Hudyo, ingon niya nga aron makita ang imong tinuray nga pagtuo kinahanglan makut makitan kini sa imong buhat. So meaning the requirements of salvation in the sight of God is faith, but in the sight of people it is action. Manang ingon ni James, be a doers of the word of God, not just a hearers only. Deceiving yourself. Kag igor ka mutos, gino, wa kay mayong buhat ang imong giilad, ang imong rang kagaligan. Amen? Muna nga, ayaw ilara ang imong kagalingon. You cannot deceive God. Now, in Genesis chapter 15, verse 6, verse 6 ato ning klarohon ang doctrine of salvation. Ingon sa Biblia, Abraham believed God and the Lord and credited it to him as righteousness. Ning tu si Abraham sa ginoo o gingo sa Biblia o gihimo kini nga pagkamatarong ni Abraham nga to sa ginoo. Now, pag abot sa Genesis chapter 22, giingnan sa ginoo si Abraham. Abraham, ihalad nga rikanako ang imong anak. So what happened? Gihalad ni Abraham, wa gihalad ni Abraham. Paghalad ni Abraham, sa dihang iyan na untang patyon si Isaac, ingon sa ginoo, ayaw, ipadayon, kaya nakaroon, nakita na nako ang imong pagtoo. So, onsay, kal, onsay may implication sa maong pagtulunan diri sa atong gitunan karon. Now, si Abraham giluwas sa ginoo in Genesis chapter 15. Pero ang action nga gipakita ni Abraham na sa Diyos to as a Genesis chapter 22, sa dihang iyang gihalad ang iyang anak na si Isaac. So, ang una nga naitabok ang Abraham in Genesis chapter 15 is what? It is faith. Naluwas siya diya sa pagtuo. Now, the action na itabok asa man in Genesis chapter 22. But remember this, ang action ni Abraham dili makapaluwas niya. It is the product of faith. Tungod siya ang sa ginoo, nakabaton siya o kaluwasan from Genesis chapter 15 and then the action is Genesis chapter 22. Dito nakitaan ang iyang pagtoo tungod sa iyang buhat na nakitaan sa pagpakita sa evidence of faith. The same thing sa imong kinabuhi o akong kinabuhi. Nga makitaan kini sa atong adlaw-adlaw nga pagkinabuhi. Mauning ni Pablo, watch out that you will not be Lead us three. Why? Because ang title nato, what you believe matters. Amen? What you believe matters. Go to verse 19. 
For your obedience has become known to all. Therefore, I'm glad on your behalf. Now, following a warning about false teachers. Gita, gitagaan ni Pablo o commendation. Remember last Sunday ang atong title, Commendation for Service. Gitagaan ni Pablo o commendation ang mga, unsa, ang mga believers sa Rome. Why? Because the Bible says, because of their obedience to the faith. Uh, which means, o ikaw o ako, makapadayon diha sa paglakaw sa kabubuton sa ginoo, maunang ingin ni Pablo, one day, we will be with Him. Amen? To be absent in this body is to be present with the Lord. And that is what we call our blessed hope. That one day, we will be with Him. Gitagan o pagtagad o matawag na sabi ni siya nga, pasidungog ang mga taga-Roma. In fact, if you will open your Bible in book of Romans chapter 1, atong makitaan o unsa ning mga kaigsunan na to sa Rome. Romans chapter 1 verse 8. Ingon dere. Paul says, I thank God. Question is, nga nung nakapa, nga nung nakapasalamat mangin siya sa gino, ining mga kaigsunan sa Rome. Now, sumpaya na to. Ingon niya, because your faith is proclaimed in all the world. Hallelujah. Nga sa ato pa kining mga kaigsunan sa Roma, matinud-anon nga nagwali sa pulong sa Gino. The same thing og maingon sa maingon si Pablo ngadto sa mga kaigsunan sa Talisay. Nagpasalamat og dako sa Gino nga inyong pagtuo nahibawan sa tibok sibo. Nga sa ato pa there's an evidence that you and I ikaw og ako nagpanlihok for the expansion of God's kingdom. Amen? Mo nang ingon niya, I thank God because your faith proclaim in all the world. Gipasalamata ni Pablo ang Gino that in spite sa mga false teachers, the church in Rome stood solid in the truth of the word of God. Nagpabilin silang matinudanon. And verse 19 continue. Ingo ni Pablo, I want you to be wise in what is good and simple concerning evil. Kita nga mga believers, believers of Jesus Christ. Ingo ni, ingo sa Biblia nga may soon, I want you to be wise. Now, unsaon man nimo na dili ka mailad. At to sa real world. Unsaon na ito pagkahibaw nga fake ang 1,000? Saan ninyo pagkahibaw? The only thing you will know na ang kwarta fake, tunan mo ang original. Then you can identify the fake. Pero di ni mo tunan ang original, di ka maka-identify between fake and original. Ang imong pagtana ha, pareha ni kwarta ra ni. Pero ang dili di siya original fake. Why? Wa ni mutun e ang original. The same thing in the word of God. Og dili ka magtuon sa pungs Ginoo, ingon dire, you need to be what? Because of the world, because ingon niya your faith is proclaimed in the whole world. And I want you to be wise in simple. What does it mean simple? Simple means pure and mixed. In other words, keep your heart pure. Don't allow. Don't allow yourself, your heart to be contaminated by sin. How to deal this matter? By studying the Word of God. Amen? In book of Psalm 119, Your word, O Lord, is light to my feet and lamp to my path. Kaya huwag nagkagngit-ngit-ngit pa ron, pwede kita mag-experiment. Huwag magpatungot ka ni Sugaa, straight ahead, wakay shadow. 
nga makitaan. Hinig-uli karong gabi pag eksperimento mo. Hinahinay mo glakaw. Magkadako ang imong shadow, magkadako ang imong shadow. Hinig kalayo ni mo, kanon ka sa kangit-ngit. Wa na'y kahayag. Mupalayo ka sa pungs ginoo, kanon ka sa kangit-ngit. Si Ginoong Isus nag-warning, I want you to open your Bible this time in book of Matthew chapter 10. Book of Matthew chapter 10, verse 16. Ingaw ni Ginoong Isus, Behold, I send you out a sheep in the midst of what? In the midst of wolves. Sa mga lubo, ipadala tumod ya sa tunga kuno sa mga lubo. In the midst of the wolves, therefore, gisumpay na ginoong Isus, be wise as serpent and harmless as dove. Be wise as serpent. Now, how to be wise, you need to study the Word of God. The same word ang gigamit ni ginoong Isus in book of Matthew chapter 24. Ayaw ka magpailad. Kay muabot ang adlaw nga dagang mangingon nga ako ang Kristo. Og daghang mailad, even the elect. So, gili ka mato, magtoon sa pungs, gino, you will be what? You will be deceived. Ning suwat si Pablo sa mga taga-Pilipos. With the same word to warn you and I. In book of Philippians chapter 2 verse 15, ingon ni Pablo, that you may become blameless and harmless children of God without fault, listen to this praise, in the midst of the crooked and perverse generation. Asa kono ta karon ni ata sa perverse and crooked mga hiwi ng mga pagtulunan. During the time of Apostle Paul, sa dihang mo pahawa na siya, Nibiyan na siya ngato sa mga kaigsunan in Book of Acts chapter 20. Ingo ni Pablo, pagbantay ka mo, kainig pahawa na ko dire na ay manggawas nga dili mao nga pagtulunan. And it happened. In Book of Acts chapter 20, verse 29, paminawang ingo ni Pablo, I know that after I leave, savage wolves, nagwarning na po si Pablo, Savage wolves will come in among you. Listen to this praise. Among you. Wolves is just inside. Wala ni magsugod na musudre. No. It is inside. And the Bible says, it is among you and will not spare the flock. Now what if we are not grounded by the word of God? Maunang nag-warning si Pablo na kinahanglan magtuunta sa pulong sa ginoo dili nga magsigilan tag sabat-sabat nga why sabot-sabot. Amen? And a lot of people today who claim to be Christian who claim to be Christian spend their great time with Facebook and etc. And no wonder why we are ignorant of the great principles of the Word of God. Why? Because we spend time more on Facebook, seeking notification and also everything. We need to have a good habit in studying the Word of God. Si Ginong Isus nag-warning in book of John chapter 5 verse 39. Ingo ni Ginoong Isos, be diligently, you diligently study the scriptures because you think that by them you possess eternal life and these scriptures talk about me. Question is, why do we need to study the Bible? Because what you believe matters. Amen? What you believe matters. Now let's go to verse 20. And the God of peace will crush, will crush Satan under your feet, surely. And the God of peace will crush Satan under your, your feet, surely. When you talk peace, that is a time of prosperity. Kinsa man God of peace. In the book of Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6, 
The Bible talks about Jesus Christ. He is the Prince of Peace. And without the Prince of Peace, never expect peace into your life. But if you have Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace, the God of Peace, then, of course, peace will ring into our heart. And Satan, remember this, brethren. Satan will never stop attacking the church. Never. Why? Because that is the mission statement of Satan. Ang plano ni Satanas is just to destroy the church even during the time of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. In John chapter 10, verse 10, the thief comes to what? To kill, steal, and destroy. And that is the mission statement of Satan sa iyang pagkasatanas, sa iyang pagkayawa. Manang moingo ng mga tao, kayawa, yun yung yawa, aoy, yes! Kay mao man ay mission statement ni Satanas. The thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. That is the mission statement sa yawa. And in the same verse, is the mission statement of Jesus Christ. I come to give them life, life in abundance. In the single, single verse, my son, makita ni mo the mission statement of the devil and the mission stent, statement of God, of Jesus Christ. The thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy, but I come to give them life, life in abundance. Amen? And we need to be very careful. Verse 20 continues. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. Now God has provided us all we need. All we need from the gift of grace. Kay naan ang manatotanan nga gihatag sa ginoo ay yung kaginan nyo, Pastor, ikaw rin na all of us. Ang matago sa nato mga isoon, we need to understand this. Doon ang ipadagan sa ginoon ninyo nga dili ko makadagan. It's of us. You have gift, you have gift, you have gift. All of us. But there's a thing, ang akong dagan, di po mo makadagan. Why? Ang ipangita sa ginoo, be faithful in the gift. Because the gift of grace is enough. Amen? Ang gikinanglan lang sa ginoo na to is what? We need to avoid false teachers. We need to be committed by obeying the Word of God. Why? Because what you believe matters. Bantay yun na kanunay, kay unsa yung imong gi, gituhan, maghatod nin mo ngito sa tumoy. Mga book of Proverbs is so crystal clear. Doon ay mga dalan niya nagtuta yung sakto apang naghatod ka na to sa kamatayan. Now, let's go to the second one. Verse 21 to verse 24. Mga greetings from Paul co-worker. Si Pablo, mga isuon, doon ay walo nga kauban. Sa iyang kisuwating book of Romans, naa siya ay mga kauban dito. No? Sa lugar, sa Corinth, na iyang gihimong base in writing the book of Romans. Akong basahon. Verse 21 to verse 24. Timothy, my co-workers, sends his greeting to you as do Lucius, Jason, Sosipater, my fellow Jew. I, Tertius, who wrote this letter, greet you in the Lord. Gaius, whose hospitality, I and the whole church here enjoy, sends you his greeting, Erastus, who is the city director of public works. So, sa kwan eh? Public works and highway, No? Si Restos. And then, our brother Quartos sends you the greeting. Now, ato nang i-meet up ang matag-usa, mga isoon. Aron mailan nato ni sila, kining mga kaubanan ni Pablo. During the time sa iyang gisulat. Na uksa ito pang panahon eh, may nga na, kauban ako dari si Junil, kauban ako dari si... May iyang mga kauban, mga kauban. No? During the time. So, ato ni silang i-meet up. Unaho na ito dari si Gayos. Kinsa man ni si Gayos? Kinsa man ni si Gayos? Now, si Gayos mga igsoon, naging mong basaho ng verse 23, dito nagpuyo si Pablo sa ilang Gayos. Oh. In fact, 
Og mo ato ka sa 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 14, kining si Gaius kauban ni Crispus nga duhara na sila ang nabunyaga ni Pablo. Sa tibuok kinabuhi ni Pablo sa pangwali sa pulong sa Ginoo, duhara ka tao ang iyang nabunyaga na water baptism. Kinsa naman ni eh? si Gaius og si Crispus. Mo na dili tinuod nga maluwas ka tunod sa baptismo. No. Kay tinuod pa makaluwas ang baptismo, daghan ang gibaptize si Pablo. Pa- Pamino, Book of Mark chapter 16 verse 16. Igon dito, to those who believe faith and is baptized will be saved. Asay naguna, it is faith. Sa imong pagtuo makabaton ka og kaluwasan, not baptism. Why? Because baptism is just an outward symbol of an inward reality. Gibaptize ka. Why? Because you are a true believer of Jesus Christ. Nakasabot ka o kung sa'y kaluwasan. Ngag why Kristo, wa kay kaluwasan. And then that's the time that you will be baptized. Mauna si Pablo sa iyang kinabuhi, duharag yun ang iyang nabaptize. Kinsa to? Si Crispos o si Gaius. Okay? Now, pagkabot sa unahan, si Gaius ning, ning tubo sa iyang pagkakristuhanon. You know what happened sa iyang pagtubo, pagkakristuhanon? Ang iyang property did to be held ang Bible study o ang ilang fellowship. You see, sa chinji sa tao, sa dihang mahimus yung kristuhanon, sa wapa sa Kristo, Kristus kinabuhi, selfish, crab mentality. Ang crab mentality na kabantay mo sa crab, ingan eh, Ang ako, ako. Ang imo, ako. Ang imo, ato. Pila iya? Tulu ang iya, iya tanan. Pero sa dihang na luwas ang tao, na himo siyang, unsaman, from selfish to selfless. Wa na gitanaw ni Gaius ang iyang kaugalingon apan iyang gipaggamit ang iyang mga resources for the expansion of God's kingdom. And that will happen to you and I if we become a true believers of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen? Now, naing ana si Gayo sa ilang kinabuhi, nahim mo siyang open sa bulaton because what he believed matters. Amen? What you believe matters. Now, another, another name na gigamit ni Pablo, Timothy, my fellow worker, greets you. So, gigamit niyang nga ni Timothy, no? Si Timothy, nang, nangumusta po ninyo. Here's another name. Lucius, Jason, so, si Pater, whom Paul calls my kinsman. Sa ito, pakinisilang tulo, mga hudiyo. No, mga hudiyo. Kaparihan ni nako, nga mga hudiyo, nangumusta o sab ninyo. Sila nga mga katawahan sa ginoo, matinudanon sa Diyos, samtang nagsuwat ko ning maong sulat. And then, another name, Tertius. Tertius, I wrote this letter. Pag ingon niya nga, I wrote this letter, it doesn't mean Nga iya ang suwat, pero gihimo siyang sekretary ni Pablo. Sekretary ni si Tertius. In fact, mga igsoon, most commentators or Bible scholar, they believe kining si Tertius, former slave. Why? Because the name Tertius means third. And then during their time, ang mga slave, sometimes si Tagagnan, number lang. One, two, three. Ano yung mo? In fact, personally, sa akong classmate, ang nga nila, James 1, James 2, James 3, James 4. Puro James. 1, 2, 3. Si James 4, napusil ni James 2 kay nagdua-dua sa armas. Classmate na nako. Now, Tertius has a brother naginganlan o kwartos. Tanawa rin yung Biblia. Kwartos. Unsa man ng kwartos means fourth. Tertius means third. Quartos means fourth. So magsuo na sila. And one more person mentioned, Erastos. Still in verse 23. Kining si Erastos, tanawa ang Biblia ni mga isoon, treasurer sa Korinto. Treasurer siya sa Korinto. Kini siya treasurer sa Talisay. Asig na kailan mo. Si Erastos na himong convert to Christianity. So kimong tanawa ang mga isoon, ang, ang 
kaubanan ni Pablo during his time is so diverse. Doon ay slaves. Doon ay gub- empleyado sa gobyerno. Doon ay ordinaryong tao. But, there's one common ground. They are faithful to their Savior. Why? Because what they believe matters. Amen? For the last one is verse 25 to verse 27. Guidance about whom we should believe. Guide us about whom we should believe. Now, pasahon na itong Biblia mga isoon in verse 25. Diha pa lang sa first phrase, makita na na to, to whom we should believe. Now, to Him, dara, who is able. Kinsa ko nung atong tuhan, to Him who is able to establish you in accordance with my gospel, the message I proclaim about Jesus Christ in keeping with the revelation of the mystery hidden for a long ages past, now revealed and made known through prophetic writings by the command of eternal God, so that all Gentiles might come to obedience that comes from faith. Now, Paul concludes his longest biblical letter with what we call doxology. Gindingan niya o doxology. O sa maning doxology? Doxology is a song of praise to God. O niya, gisugda ni Pablo yung niya, to him who is able. O gmubasa ka ng to him who is able in the New Testament Katuluran ng gibalik. Katuluran ng gibalik ang maong praise, mauning usasa, gitawag wonderful title of God. It is a title of God to Him who is able. Mabasa na po na ninyo sa Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. O Jude, verse 24. Kaya book of Jude, usara man chapter it is a wonderful name of God. Og atong makit andre three things on how God established the believers in these verses. Tanaw na to, ha? First, in verse 25. Giyon sa pag-establish sa ginoo ang mga believers. Paul's, through Paul's gospel presentation. Nga naman, ingo ni Paul, according to my gospel. Now, Paul reminds the Christian in Rome, ang duman niya, mga Kristohanon sa Roma, that God can strengthen them through my gospel. My gospel. Ngayon, nung gignan man ni Pablo, my gospel. Why? Because the gospel was Paul's standard in doing all the ministry na iyang gihimo. Ang iyang pasukaranan ng son, always the gospel. Mao na pagsugod lang sa Book of Romans chapter 1. Pag start ni Pablo pagsuod sa Book of Romans chapter 1 verse 16, ingon ni Pablo, I am not ashamed of the gospel for it is the power of God for the salvation first from the Jew and to the Gentiles. Dili na ko ikawaw. Why? Because in Paul's standard of teaching, he always used the gospel. And that is what we're doing in living word. It is always the gospel. It's not about the pastor. It's always Jesus Christ. Amen? Ang ikaduhang pasokaranan ni Pablo, verse 25, still in verse 25, by preaching about Jesus. By preaching about Jesus. Why? Si Lucas, si Dr. Luke, ning suwat, mga igson, in book of Acts chapter 4, verse 12, ingon ni Lucas, ingon ni Dr. There's no other name under heaven given to men in which we must be saved. It is only the name of Jesus Christ, the name above every name, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, that all the nations shall bow and all the time confess that Jesus is Lord. Amen? Ang pasukaranan ni Pablo sa pagtudlo is only the name of Jesus. No other name, not the name of Robert because my name is nothing. Maunang ikaduhang butang. Only the name of Jesus. It should be Christ-centered 
preaching. Ang ikatulong butang sa ang pag-establish sa ginoo sa mga magtutuo talks about the revealing of God's eternal plan of salvation that is being kept secret, my God. Gingan lang diri og mystery. That is in verse 25 to verse 26. Now, biblical mystery is that something, uh, something scary. No, it's not. Moingong ganing biblical mystery, it is something that was once unknown by which is now being disclosed by divine revelation. Dili nga, moingong ganing Biblia, something mystery. Mysterious, dili na something scary. But it is something nga sa una wa gireveal, apan karon gireveal na sa ginoo. Now, the question is, unsa man ang butanga nga sa una gitaguan sa ginoo, unya karon gireveal na sa ginoo. It talks about you and I. Ikaw o ako mga hintil, wala tay part sa gingharian sa ginoo, pero karon nahimo ng part. Why? I want you to open your Bible now and read book of Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 6. And this is what mystery is all about. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 6, it says, This mystery is that through the gospel, balik na po sa gospel, the Gentiles are ears together with Israel. That is the mystery. Member together of one body, the shearers together in the promise in Jesus Christ. Now, we need to understand that we are not the chosen people. Dili kita ang pinili sa Diyos. It is the Jew. But here comes the mystery nga ning abot na ikaw o kako karon na himo ng kahiusa sa mga hudiyo. Muna dako kayong pasalamat na tos gino by His grace and mercy that you and I become part of the kingdom of God. Amen? Di ba kaangayan na itong palakpakan ng gino? Praise God. And these things was never revealed in the Old Testament. Never. Wag yung disguti ang church in the Old Testament. But now, it is being revealed. Maunang ego ni Pablo, here's a mystery. Do you know that you are not the one chosen by God? But now you belong to the kingdom of God because of the blood of Jesus shed on the cross 2,000 years ago. Amen? Here's the last one. Verse 27. To the only wise God, be glory forever through Jesus Christ. Amen. To the only wise God. Now, kanang word, to the only wise God, it is a reference for the teaching of what we call monotheism. Mono means single. That is believing that we believe in a single God Three distinct persons, but one in essence, they are God. That is monotheism. Theism means belief in God. Monotheism meaning believing in one God. And it is totally different between what we call henotheism. Unsa man po ning gitawag nga henotheism. Henotheism is a belief that Daghang kayo ginoo. Daghang kayo ginoo, but there's one supreme God. So out of many gods, doon na ilang leader nga God. That is Hinotism. And the example of Hinotism is Hinduism. Ang mga Hindu, daghang kayo siya ginoo. Now, another teaching is about politism. Politism means... There's more than one God. Pero why leader? More than one God. Is still the example here is the Hindu. Nga naman, pilaman ang ginoo sa Hindu, 300 million gods. Can you imagine? 
300 million gods. In fact, hasta ilaga ilang ginoo. I've been in India many times. Many times. Di ko kakaun. Baka ginoo nila, even dog ilang ginoo. 300 million gods. But Christianity believes in what we call monotheism. It's a belief of one God with three distinct persons. That is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. But they are one in essence. They are God. So Christianity is mono-single theism. Mono-single belief in God. Amen? Dealing at three gods. Now, how can we prove? O ginong ka, o saan ni mo pag-probe ang imong Kristo ginoo? How can you prove? How can we prove? You can prove it in the single verse of the Bible. Dadoon niyo sila sa John chapter 1, verse 1. Mauna yung dada. Pero, here's a warning, ayaw gamitin sa Biblia sa Jehovah's Witness. Kay lahi. O ginong basahon. Ako ay pakita niyong kalahian. Now, o ginong, abliha ko nun yung Biblia karon. John chapter 1, verse 1. Kay, did tumanta sa monotheism. No, monotheism. Now, John chapter 1, verse 1, it says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Mauna ang sa atong Biblia. Now, in verse 14, it says, And the Word become flesh, and made willings amongst us. Now, the question is, kinsaman tong Word? It talks about Jesus Christ. The Word become flesh. Naghisgut, ang hisgutan dito si Kristo. Now, ato nang i-reconstruct. No? Look at your Bible. O niya ka ng word, pulihan na taog Jesus. Kaya siya may flesh. Na word become flesh. So, what will happen to verse 1? Ingani may tabo. In the beginning was Jesus, and Jesus was with God, and Jesus was God. See? In a single verse of the Bible, you can prove that indeed, Jesus is God. Amen? Monotheism. That is our belief. We believe in a single God, three distinct persons. We believe in the Trinity, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, but in one office, they are God. There's no such thing as three gods. No. One God. But they are God in three persons. Amen? Amen? Now, in conclusion, in conclusion, ang conclusion natin doon mga isoon is in John chapter 5, verse 39. In John chapter 5, verse 39, it says, Diligently study the Scriptures because you think that by them you have eternal life and these Scriptures testifies about me. Now, question is, why do we need to study the Scriptures? The answer is the title, because what we believe matters. Amen? We need to study the Word of God because what we believe matters. Can we all stand up and we will pray? Hallelujah. Father in heaven, we thank you, Lord. Holy Spirit, thank you. That it is only by your grace that we were able to finish our study in the book of Romans. And indeed, O oh God, what, be, what we believe matters. Salamat ka ni Mugino. Ang pagampo, Lord, nga dili lamang may mong kawang ang tanan. Apan muhimo kinigdakong kausaban sa matag usaka na mo gino that we can finish the race that you entrusted to each and every one ikaw ginong Diyos ang nakakita sa unahan liguna kami gino samtang ania pa kami ning kinabuhi nga imong gipahulaman padayon paggamit sa matag usaka na mo gan in a divine and miraculous way Salamat usab sa mga kaigsunan Lord nga imong gigamit o God ibin wala namo sila makuyog diri Ginoo. 
We thank you for their life, oh God. Bless them. And spiritual blessings, oh God. Physical blessings, Lord. Have been more in financial blessings. Use them, Lord. Father, we just thank you and we give you praise and we give you glory. Hallelujah. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Happy Lord's Day and God bless you all. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Indeed, mga kagsunan, what we believe really matters, no? Right doctrine produces right living. And wrong doc doctrine produces wrong living. And there is no other name, only the name of Jesus, mga kagsunan, ang center of everything. And from Old Testament to New Testament, it points to Jesus Christ. And how blessed we are that God, in the richness of His mercy and grace, adopted us to be His sons and daughters. Amen? Amen. Let's sing our last song.
Lord, oh Lord, we pray, Lord God, that you'll be with us all throughout the day and that your name be magnified and glorified alone, oh Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Happy Lord's Day, brothers and sisters. God bless you.